Over the last few months, we've been capturing the story of making a surfboard using timber harvested from a local garden to be used on beaches here in Cornwall. After excited talks with Tom Clark, the head gardener at Trelissic Gardens, one of our nearby National Trust properties, he donated some of his timber for us to use from a fallen Compressus macrocarpa. Once back in the workshop, we machined the timber in preparation for building one of our 610 skin and frame wooden boards, using the macrocarpa alone for the skins. The board began, as all our boards do, with the CNC machine cutting out the framework. We then glue the complete frame down to the bottom skin and begin building the rails in strips. With rails complete, we put the nose and tail blocks in place before fixing the deck skin down. Then it's all about the shaping, finding the board within the blank we have just created. While the timber is 50 to 60% heavier than the cedar we normally use, it smelled amazing and finished beautifully on the blades. The boards are then finished with a laminate of 4 ounce fibreglass and epoxy resin. The patterns in the wood with the rippling and bird's eye knots have made for a truly unique board that we couldn't wait to get in the water. Once glassed, we took the board back to the woods where its story began and shared the excitement of the project with Tom and the other gardeners before heading over to Kudrivi one of our local beaches that the National Trust conserves for its maiden surf. In the water, the extra weight of the board allows you to glide smoothly along waves, so it was fun to use, even in the small surf we found ourselves in. We are now handing the wooden board back to the National Trust. This is just the start of its journey. This project was made possible by the Neptune Coastline Campaign, which is all about raising awareness of the Trust's involvement in our coastlines. <laughs>